hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to another day of OT with Dan. I'm Dan. Welcome to our OT class for today. All right? Just want to remind everyone, our classes are meant to be just educational classes, meant for parents and students to do together, so that or caregivers, so that our caregivers can work with our students just to help learn these different skills and implement these skills and strategies. Right? Not meant to replace any therapies that you might have already in place. Just a nice educational activity to do along with me at home so that you can learn these skills and strategies for yourself. All right. Also, since I'm not able to see what anybody's doing, please make sure you are safe and careful. Everything you are doing is at your own risk. So please make sure you're paying attention to your body, how you're feeling, your space around you. Okay, and, and consult with your doctor, primary care physician, or healthcare provider before starting if you need to. All right. That being said, I'd like to welcome everybody to another day of OT with Dan. All right. So if you've been keeping up with our classes, we are doing different activities for each letter of the alphabet. Okay. After our 30 days, we will have completed our whole alphabet and we will have a whole notebook full of different exercises, strategies, activities, breathings, different things that we can do for each letter of the alphabet. Okay, so we'll have a nice big resource and then we can use that to find different activities that we can do throughout the day. So, even, so either if we need a break during work or sitting at the table all day long, or if we're just sitting inside, we're not getting a chance to get some energy out, we can try these different activities throughout our routine. Um, or just having something to do as a fun game. All right, so there's a lot of different activities and exercises that we will have in our notebook. Okay, so all we're using are different materials from home. Today, all you need is your notebook okay? and a pencil, and actually a, another piece of paper or a piece of paper from your notebook. Okay, so if you have your notebook, you can go ahead and open it. Right? Does anyone remember what letter we are up to for today? So using your fingers, you can turn one page at a time. So remember, if you're keeping track with us, we have all our different letters with our different exercises. If you want to just follow along for today, you can just take a piece of paper for today. So what letter are we on today? What letter are we on today? Our next letter for today, just finished up at H, our next letter, and I'm on my last piece of paper here, so I'll be using this notebook. Our next letter is our letter I, okay? So we've been learning our sign language too. We learned A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I for today. And what about our other hand? A B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Let's try both of those hands together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Can you do an eye wave? Hello. Or you can become an insect. I have one moving at a time or both together. Okay, our letter I. Okay, so we're going to take our notebook, all right, and first we're going to write our letter I, uppercase and lowercase. We're going to write our activities that we're going to do today. Okay, so you can use a pencil at home, or you can use a highlighter or a marker, something that's a little thicker so it's a little easier to hold. I'm going to be using a black marker just so that you at home can see what I'm writing a little easier. Okay, when we are holding our pencil or marker, we want to hold it in our fingers, right, our alligator grabbing fingers, and our middle finger is going to support it, our pinky and ring are tucked away. When we're writing, we're writing with our fingers and our wrist, remember we've practiced finger popping, pencil popping I mean, and we practiced our Finger circles, pencil circles, and the other way. Okay, so 
So different exercises to practice how we control our fingers and control the pencil with our fingers. Looks like a snake. Okay, so we're writing with our fingers. One hand is holding our paper. Okay, so first I like to draw it in the air just so in my mind I can see how it's supposed to look. So that uppercase letter I start at the top, we go across, down the middle, and across the bottom. Okay, and that lowercase letter I, we start right in the middle, make our line down, make our dot. What about with the other hand? I like to do everything on one side for the other side as well. Gets our brain to practice using both sides of the brain. Um, if we're more comfortable on one side, it gets us a little out of that comfort, doing something that might feel a little weird, but that's how we get better at it. So with our other hand, start at the top, we go across and down and across, and our lowercase letter I. Okay, how about on our paper? So one hand is holding, one hand is writing. See if we can make that capital letter I. Try to keep the lines straight. We have our uppercase letter I. We have our lowercase letter I. Okay. Now we're gonna write three um, activities for today. Okay. So we like to do different exercises, animal walks, movements, breathing strategies for each letter. For our letter I, we're gonna do our Iguana crawls. So see if you can make that first letter capital. Our next letters lowercase. Okay. Iguana crawl. Okay, pay attention to your space. Remember, you can always use your pencil to see how much, uh, to see how lined up your word is. And you can use your pencil also to see how, how the space is in between each letter. You can use your finger to see the space in between each word. Okay, to make sure you have enough space in between the letters and words. So you can see where one letter stops and the next letter starts, where one word stops and the next word starts. Okay, iguana crawl. Then we're gonna do our inchworm. Also pay attention to how much space you're using. So you know where the middle is. Try to write neatly. Remember, we're not using our arm. We're using our wrist and fingers. Inchworm. Okay, and our last one is gonna be insect. Insect drawing. Okay, once you get those, we can close our marker. Now we're gonna see if we can do our exercises. Our first one is iguana crawl. All right, so an iguana is actually a reptile, right? As well as turtles and lizards, right? And snakes, those are reptiles. So, so is an iguana, okay? So when our iguana walks, it walks very slowly. Our iguana walk, is a little bit of a different kind of position, but let's see if we can try it. We're gonna start out laying on our bellies. Okay. So I need some room for this. I'm gonna lay all the way back here, and we lay on our belly. For our, for our iguana crawl, we're gonna bring one leg up next to us, and our belly is facing the floor. So we're not turned to the side like our body might want us to go. We're facing the floor. And then for that, um, for that iguana crawl, that leg that's bent up, that leg goes all the way to the back behind us. 
Okay, comes out in front. And so see if you can push on your into your arms to bring that leg behind you. Okay, come out in front and push those arms to get that leg behind you. Okay, when we come back out, then we can do our next leg. So we slide our next leg up. Same thing, we're keeping our belly facing close to the floor and we slide that leg down. So our iguana crawl looks like this, right? It's a slow movement. We're moving one leg at a time. We have to move each leg at least a couple of times before we can move the next one, right? Just to get it in the right place, okay? Once we have it there, we bring our next leg up. So it's a nice stretch, a nice slow movement. We could do it backwards. And just move in a couple of times. Okay. Or back forwards. Okay, Whew. so it's a little bit of a awkward position. It's a little bit of a weird position, but it's really getting a nice stretch in our leg when we're all the way open. And then just practicing moving one leg at a time. Nice, slow movements, okay? So remember, we wanna just learn and try all of these different movements, but Whatever movements feel best for us are obviously the ones that, you know, we want to do. Um, if it's ones that are hard for us, then it could be good to do them because anything that's hard for us, we can practice that until we get better at it, okay? If it's something that doesn't feel good or we don't like it, then we don't have to do it. If it's just challenging, then we can do it because that's how we get better at it, all right? But either way, just wanna try all these different exercises and movements. And even just getting on the floor and giving it a try right now is already good enough for me. So thank you who's trying it, okay? It's a little bit of a, a, a weird one, an awkward one, okay? But it's a good one too, all right? Let's take our pencil or marker, whatever you're using. Check off iguana crawl. Okay, next is our inchworm. So, inchworms were also on the floor. If you remember our caterpillar crawl, our caterpillar crawl, we were walking our arms and then walking our legs. Okay, our inchworm is on our knees. All right, so on your knees, then you go on your elbows. Okay, see if you can walk your arms out without laying on the floor, and then slide those knees in. Bring your arms out, slide those knees in, and backwards, knees, arms, knees, arms. Okay, that's our inchworm. You can see how low you can go without touching the ground. And bring those knees in. Okay. You can also, from this position, if you want to make it a little harder, get those fingers on the ground. Make sure those fingers are rooted down. Get your toes on the ground. Tuck your toes. Okay. From this position, okay. see if you can lift your knees a little and push your body forward and push your body up. Inchworm without your knees on the ground. Push, okay, push. That's a little harder, okay? If that's a little too hard, you can always practice just having your fingers on the ground. See if you could just 
um, slide your hands forward. So slide those hands forward as far forward as you can go. Okay, get those fingers on the ground. And now see if you can pull your body up. Okay, and going backwards, you push your legs back. Pull your arms up. Going forward, you push your arms forward as low as you can. And then slide your legs in. Oops, backwards. And forwards. Okay, depending how much space you have, you can play around with it. It's a good way to work out your core, work out your arms, work out your legs, and get you sweating a little bit, okay? Also, it's a little bit of an awkward kind of position, um, but just trying it even right now is already awesome. Okay, and of course we want to just do these different activities, exercises, just to see which ones we like. And remember, if we don't like it, if it doesn't feel good, we don't have to do it. If it's a little bit challenging, then it could be something that we do, just maybe something that we want to get better at. Maybe we want to get stronger so that we can do it. Or we want to work on our balance so that we can do it. Okay, so if we don't like it, we don't have to do it. But if it's a little bit challenging, we might want to see if we can work up to being able to do it, okay? So we have our inchworm, and we can go ahead and check that one off there. All right, our last one is insect drawing, okay? Insect drawing is exactly what it sounds like. Drawing is a great way to take a break and just get some of that energy out through expressing ourselves on paper. Even if we're not a good artist, you know, just, I'm not either. Um, just drawing, just having fun, you know, just doodling, scribbling, anything we're doing, we're expressing ourselves. It's also a way just to get that energy out. So if we want to take a break, go somewhere quiet, go somewhere peaceful, go somewhere safe, maybe a, a special corner or a special room, maybe have a blanket, a, a fuzzy blanket, a soft blanket, a heavy blanket, somewhere where we feel comfortable, whether we have music or we have the windows open or where, wherever we like, right? We can go there, maybe at the kitchen table, maybe in our room or wherever we are, outside if it's nice weather, okay? And just doing some drawing, just however we're drawing is a, a good way to get some energy out too, okay? So for today, we're gonna do some insect drawing, okay? I have to credit five minute Crafts, five minute ideas, um, five minute crafts. Excuse me for this one. And, and they have really, really cool videos too of just a bunch of different things that you know you can do at home. Drawing is a good way to practice how we use our fingers, how we use our hands, okay? So you can turn to a new page or if you have a blank page, we can use two of them. Just one at a time. And I'm going to use the back of my notebook here as a table. If you have your table, then that will be perfect. All right, so let's see if we can draw. Okay, so here's what we'll draw first. All right, so first, let's take our hands like a fist. We're going to bring just our pinky and pointer finger knuckle out. So it looks something like this. Okay, when we have this, whatever hand we are making this with, our other hand is gonna do the tracing. So if this is the hand you, you wanna write with, then on your other hand, see if you can get that pinky and that pointer finger, those knuckles up. All right, so it looks like this. We're gonna put that right on the paper. So, kinda just looks like this. All right, we're going to get that on the paper and see if we can trace that. Our thumb stays tucked in. Okay, so it's just our pinky that's popping out. Our next two fingers are low. Our pointer knuckle is popping out. And there's a little tiny bend around the thumb. Okay. 
Okay, so this is how it looks. All right, then what we do is we make a fist. All right, we turn our paper upside down, we make a fist, and our fist goes to the top. Okay, and we're gonna trace our fist right into that top. So right into the top, we're tracing our fist. Okay. We'll see if we can connect them. So it looks kind of like this. When we flip it back over, now we can use this to draw. So here we can make some nice big eyes. Our nose, our mouth. Okay. Here we can make our feet. Kind of looks like a chicken feet. Maybe our feet need to be more like this. And we can make these into legs. All right. And it's not quite an insect, but it eats insects. This is our frog. Bye bye. Okay, does it look like a frog? Okay, another one we can do. So we can take two fingers like this, right? Our sign language letter V, or like we're saying, peace. Okay, and putting it against our paper. Against our paper. Just trace your fingers, not your hand. Just your fingers. Okay, now we're gonna have to use the other hand. So same thing, those two fingers right on the other side. Here's a little tricky. You're tracing with your other hand now, right? See if you can trace just your fingers. Okay, when you trace your fingers, you can make a head here body, tail, can make a face, put some design in the wings, some antennas, okay. This becomes our dragonfly which is an insect. And now our frog is ready to eat that dragonfly. Okay, if we have one more piece of paper, we can do one more. Okay. On this last piece of paper, we need to trace our whole hand. So one hand, wide open. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit tight, but Okay, we're, we're going this way, so our thumb is in the middle. Okay, sorry, our thumb is on the outside. So into one corner, we have our hand like this with our fingers closed. So let's see if we'll be able to fit this one. With our fingers closed, so we trace that one. Trace that thumb as well. best as you can. Our fingers are closed. So it looks kind of like this. Okay, then with our other hand fingers open, we trace the other way. Okay, so those fingers are open. Connect the dots. See if you can trace as best as you can.
Okay, I am not doing a, a great job of fitting. My hands are a little bit big for this paper. Okay, but then we turn our paper upside down and we wanna do the same thing. So, or I'm sorry, th this is how it will look. So we wanna do the same thing. So if I can find another piece of paper, I can just extend this a little. Okay, so maybe we're gonna do the same thing on another piece of paper. So on another piece of paper, our hand that was open is here on top. So our hand that's open comes to this corner. Okay, so let's trace that one. And then our hand that's closed comes to our other corner. And again, now we're using the opposite hand. We trace that one. Okay, so if your fingers fit a little bit better, then that's good. All right, now having both of our pieces of paper together, misguided you so it would be like this <laughs> okay so if you have your piece of paper and you, and you fit it all on one paper right this is how it would look so your open hands are on top your closed hands are on the bottom okay and this becomes our So I, I kind of did this a little backwards. Remember, five minute crafts is where I have to credit this. So you can get a better idea there. Just wanted to try to show you this insight. And I see if I can make it work. our insect, our butterfly body. Okay, this becomes our big, beautiful butterfly. Okay, we can do a design. And I, I did tell you that I wasn't an artist. All right, my little circles. But I enjoy drawing, I have fun with it. And I think that's what it should be. And you know, there's a, a video I have of drawing, um, drawing with Matthew, okay, it'll be out soon. But Matthew, he's an artist and he even talks about that it's just one of those things that you can practice and become better at. And you know, I, I think it's just about having fun. So just being able to have fun, express ourselves, See if we can create something cool, something fun. And just express ourselves to make something, right? So just tracing our hands, we were able to make some cool insects today. And you can always just find different designs or patterns or things that you can learn how to draw and try to draw. And just being able to stop what you're doing and do some drawing is, is the purpose of our eye insect Drawing insects is just talking about how we can stop and draw to take a break. Okay, so 
Round of applause. What does everyone think? Not bad, right? So let's review. So we talked about our letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I for today. Okay, what comes after I? Tomorrow is the letter J. So tune back in tomorrow to see what activities we'll be doing for our letter J. Otherwise, for our letter I, we got to draw our letter in the air, right? It's a good way to practice getting it in our mind, how our brain sees it. If we have any letters that sometimes are reversed, it's a good thing to do is to practice drawing it in the air first, either with our arm or just our finger. Okay, and we practiced our iguana crawl, which is a good way to just really stretch out those legs and just for our brain to practice moving one leg at a time. Our inchworm also is a good way to practice one body part at a time. Okay, it's a little challenging. And remember, we, if we don't like any of our exercises, then that's okay. Just trying them is already awesome, awesome job. And, you know, we're going to be doing different exercises and different strategies breathings, different things we can do for breaks for all of our letters. So by the time we finish our 30-day plan, we'll have a full alphabet in our book full of different things. So, you know, we can choose which ones to do. And if we're playing a game with somebody and we're picking things for them to do, we can always choose the, the ones that we think might be more challenging. And remember, if something's challenging, then that could be a good thing to try to do. So we can practice getting stronger, getting a little bit better at whatever part of it is hard until it's no longer hard for us. And that's how we make it easy. And that's how we grow and learn and get stronger and, and better at the things that are hard for us. Okay, and our last one was our insect drawing. And we can go ahead and open up our pen or marker, whatever we're using. We can cross out insect drawing, okay? Just talking about taking a break and drawing, being creative, expressing ourselves, even if we're just scribbling, making different designs or patterns, even if we think it doesn't look good at all, just having fun with it. It's a good way just to take a little break and get our mind off of whatever we have to get it off of and kind of take a, a couple of minutes to ourselves. All right, hope everyone's enjoying these videos. Remember, these are not meant to replace any therapies or services, just educational activities for parents and students to do together so parents can help as needed and just to learn these different skills and strategies and help implement them as well. Okay? Especially if we're stuck home and we're not moving around a lot, it's a good thing to be able to learn these different ways that we can move and get that energy out, take breaks and, and breathe and different activities we can do throughout the day can really help us to get that energy out and it can help us as far as participating in school things. So if we're not able to focus, maybe doing some of these stretches or exercises can help us get that focus. So you can try it at home. But of course, um, if you are getting services, then you know your, your healthcare provider would be able to direct you and, and consult you um, better on how and when and why um, we do these different activities, okay? So also, please remember that I can't see what anybody is doing, so please make sure you are safe and careful. Everything you're doing is at your own risk, so please be careful. Consult with your doctor, primary care physician, healthcare provider if you need to before starting these classes, all right? Don't, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified every time there's new videos, all right? If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can either email me, at dantheotman1 at gmail.com, or there's a Facebook group, which is Friends of Dan the OT Man. And I'm also trying to work on some other um, accounts and ways for you guys and everyone to, to reach out with any questions or even just your own things. I'd love to see your pictures that you're drawing. I'd love to see you know you and your children and students and parents, everybody getting into these different poses and and doing different things. So um, we're, I'm seeing if, if, uh, if we can work on something like that together, okay? The uh, Dan the OT Man team is working on it. All right, so hope everyone has an awesome rest of the day. Hope you're learning, hope you're moving, 
and feeling good, staying safe and healthy. All right, and I'm, I'm hoping everyone stays that way and stays careful. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody again tomorrow. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your time. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.